Florida Governor Ron DeSantis traveling to Iowa today for the first time and acting very much like a presidential candidate. Good morning. I bring greetings from the free state of Florida. DeSantis pitching Florida as a model for the country on issues like COVID, where he kept the state largely open. I'm just proud to say that when during COVID the world lost its mind, when common sense suddenly became an uncommon virtue, the state of Florida stood as a refuge of sanity. And on conservative social issues, declaring he stood up to quote, the woke mob. We've done things like eliminate critical race theory from our K through 12 schools. We're not going to teach our kids to hate our country or to hate each other. DeSantis never mentioned Donald Trump by name, but he did take one undeniable swipe at the former president. There's no drama in our administration. There's no palace intrigue. We roll out and we execute and we do, do things and we get things done. That message process. landing with voters like Rob Bonesock, a grandfather of three, who told me some of Trump's behavior has been distracting. When it really comes down to it, I just want to make sure that whoever we run can win. If we really need to win. Do you think that Governor Ron DeSantis could win the White House? After the day, I'm even more sure that he probably is the guy. Other former Trump voters now on the fence. We need the best candidate, not necessarily, nothing against Donald Trump personally, but he's not the only horse in the race. Meanwhile, former United Nations Ambassador Nikki Haley is wrapping up her second trip to Iowa since announcing her presidential campaign. She talked with foreign policy uh, issues today with Senator Joni Ernst in Clive. Haley says that she wants a more modern approach to the nation's security as technology has evolved. If it's a threat to the safety of Americans, that's where our focus should be. And before, you always saw national security was, okay, how are we by land, by air, by sea? Well, yes, let's make sure we're at the top of our game, land, air, sea. But we also need to be looking at cyber. We also need to be looking at artificial intelligence. Senator Ernst hosted Haley as part of a continuing series with the Bastion Institute. The organization focuses on foreign policy and national security. That event capped off three days of campaigning for Haley. Ernst, by the way, says that Haley has proven herself, proven her credentials when it comes to the country's security for the future. What do they know about foreign policy? Does it resonate with me as an individual? What can they do for our country at large? Uh, I think is very, very important. The senator is set to host former Vice President Mike Pence for another event next Saturday in Des Moines. From one presidential candidate to another, now former President Donald Trump will be in Davenport, Iowa Monday. He's expected to deliver remarks that are focused on education. The event will take place at the Adler Theater. That's at 5.30 p.m. This will be his first visit to Iowa since he started his presidential campaign. And Republicans visiting the state come as Democrats wait for President Joe Biden's expected announcement that he is once again running. But he has yet to formally do so. The chair of the Iowa Democratic Party, Rita Hart, says they've submitted a proposal for a presidential preference mail-in system. They're hoping that will satisfy national Democratic leaders. Iowa Democrats lost the first-in-the-nation position to South Carolina. Iowa Republicans retain that spot.